Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. Okay, here we go. So, we lost consciousness after fighting. Let me read this. There's an important item hiding in the falls. If you're able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've deployed what's called an El Gigante, so God bless. About what's been on in your body, if I could help you, I would. But unfortunately, it's beyond my power. Okay. So, in order to rescue Ashley, we gotta find whatever thing it's useful to open the, the church. Mm, I don't have space for this thing. I might just combine this. I'll sort my inventory later. So yeah, uh, crap. More of this thing. Um, I don't. I don't really need these ones right now. Okay. I can use this handgun ammo. Shot reload in case. Let's get out. Ooh, it's finally dark. Actually, we're we're finally starting the episode two. Well, the chapter two, part one. And before we, we carry on, we gotta go pay a visit to the American because there's a treasure here. And yeah, we, get, we need a treasure to make the most, the most possible money, you know? We get this in this cave. Be careful though. I mean, there's no enemies here, but just be careful in this game. <laughs> if, it's your, if, if it's your first playthrough, you gotta be careful. Alright, I'm just gonna get whatever I find here. There's a there's a green green um what is it called green game green game upstairs here we gotta get that one we combine that with the elegant mask and we can get um we can sell that for a higher price just gotta just gotta move these boxes here so it is right here you see this is the green hem we're gonna combine this. With the elegant mass, now now it has Wahem inside of it. Stick to it. The value is increased, but we gotta we gotta combine with the other three. Um, I don't have a sniper, so whatever. Okay, brother, what you got for me? Some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you? What well, can we tune up? Firepower, yeah. <laughs> Capacity. <laughs> I'm not gonna upgrade the shotgun because what I'm gonna sell that anyway. Why can I use the spinal? <laughs> anti quick <Thanks>. pipe. <laughs> gold bangle with pearls as well. And the brewstone right. and the yeah. legal mask, I won't sell them yet because they can still be upgraded. Okay, that's good. I think that's good. Now we carry on moving. We gotta find that key. Get back to the church. See if Ashley is in there. Rescue her. Escape from this, this, damn, pla this damn place. Survive Resident Evil 4, and, and we're pretty much done here. As if it, as if it was that easy. <laughs> anyway, this is cool. Ugh, I can't even talk anymore, bro. Sorry about that. So the bath, the I mean the the thing about uh, being dark, being night in the village is that enemies get more scary, more dangerous. So you gotta watch out. You gotta watch yourself. You're about to see what what I'm talking about. Let's see. Woo! Oh crap, bro! Watch out with this guy. Knock that guy before, so you can fight freely with this guy. 
Don't get too close with the, to this guy with a plaque on his head because it can hit you and deals a lot of damage. Let's knock this guy again. Just keep hitting him. If you have a sniper rifle, it's one sh it's one shot kill. But he's dead finally. Shoot this guy once. Kick him. Hit him with the knife. Ooh. Oh crap, he spawned I think. It normally doesn't happen. It's, honestly it can be a bit random. Just don't get too close to him because it can swing the blade away. Hit you. And deal a lot of damage. Just keep your distance. You should be okay, bro. But like I said, if you have a sniper rifle, it's easier. But right now, I don't want to buy the sniper rifle because I prefer another one that unlocks later in the game. That's it. We waste a few ammo right there, but it's it's good now. Just jump here. Keep running here normally. There's a couple of barrels down back here. Well, only one. The hell? Let me take that. Uh, I'm gonna need the grenade, so I'm gonna just combine this with this. Also, you can shoot these boxes here. You see these boxes here? You're gonna need to shoot them eventually, so... Might as well just shoot them right away when you get the chance. Come on. There we go. Now we go down there. Down there is where we lock this key. We're looking to lock the... Uh, the church to get ice level there. There's an enemy down here. You can shoot him from here. He dies pretty quick. You see, only two shots. For some reason, he dies so quick. I honestly don't know why. Honestly, I don't know if it's because you're in the high ground or just because the game decided that he was supposed to be a weak enemy. Same happened to promo for some reason. Never gave it too much importance. It's just, it's just curious, I guess. Oh crap. Forgot some some uh, some handgun ammo up here. Try to get all the ammo you can, man. But because you know, in pro mode especially, you can run out of ammo in the middle of a fight. It can be messy. You see these boxes? These these are the boxes we shoot down. You will you you need to shoot those down to get across these these damn whatever. Shotgun shells looking good. We're gonna need these shotgun shells for later in the game. Pull the lever, yeah. So as you can see, we changed something here. We close the we close the gates to the dam, so the water the, the water stops going through, and the waterfall stops, so you can go through the cave. A cave you will see in a second. That cave right there, because we gotta go there. We gotta go in there. Okay, let's come back. Should be good. Be careful here. A bunch of enemies will spawn here, but it's really easy to just get rid of them. Wait until they're they're close to the to the water. You can shoot them down. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Honestly. It's super random, but just keep your distance. Try to go for those headshots. You should be okay. I'm gonna use the pump, the shotgun for this. Ooh, uh, this guy is close. Crap. I would shoot this guy down. Just finish this guy with a knife. Sometimes it works that you shoot them right at the edge and they fall down to the. To the, to the water, to the dam, but for some reason it didn't work this time. And I'm big deal, just keep your distance. As always. Shouldn't be a big deal. You got the amber ring. Get another treasure we can sell to the American. Keep a special attention to your treasure map. As you can see, I don't really open it. Because I already know where's everything. Just gonna combine this with this. But check the map. You see all these like... Market spots, well X spots. It means there was a treasure there, and the spots with a star on there. It means there's a new treasure there I haven't gotten yet. But since I already know where all the treasures are, I'm not really using it. But I just bought it because yeah, because I can, and I like having everything unlocked in the game. So yeah, bro. Okay. Take the round insignia. 
to get the run insignia. This was pretty much the thing we need to open the, the church. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. All right. Ashley's safety is our immediate pr priority. Let's go back to the church. So actually, you don't have to go all the way back. There's like a shortcut here. Kind of. You take this boat and you will see where we get. We get to the to the American if you can remember. There's one this is one of the American spots. Got a selection of what are you selling? Let's see what can we sell. I'm gonna sell this one. I'm gonna save for you uh, you guys you guys will see in a second what am I saving for? An old ring. I can almost feel the history behind the Jewelry. I just hope that there's some value to it. Yeah, there's some value. Thank you. What are you buying? Should I buy something? Nah, I'm good. So normally if there's there's a boss battle here, a boss fight here guys. The easy way to do this is just to buy an RPG, shoot, shoot him once with it and he, instant, he instantly dies. But I want to make it fun, so that's why I've been saving grenades. You're about to see what am I saving these guys. They're gonna be pretty useful for this boss. Just watch. We go, brothers. Just use the grenades. Hit him, hit him twice with those. You should be okay. Just keep your distance. After two nade shots, he's gonna show his parasite. You just... Oh my gosh! I was too slow. <laughs> oh crap! That's that's dangerous. That's dangerous, actually. I actually waste a couple of grenades there, but we're good though. It's all good. Ugh. Yeah, damn it! I hit him once, bro. I'm I'm choking for some reason here. You should be able to hit him twice with this. Now the the parasite will will pop up again. Just just watch out what which combination are you supposed to press. You gotta do this three times. You guys remember that dog I told you you should save? He, this is why. So now we're running out of grenades because I show that so bad. What I can do is just spam him with this thing. It should, it should prompt the... It should pull the parasite out after a couple of shots. And just slash him. Make sure you hit the, 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 the correct button because it can be X or C. Just hit him in the face. Crap, that wasn't enough. It's good though, it's good though. It's good though, I have I have hell for this. But some somehow I'm choking my my fight here. Let me use this grenade to stun him a bit so I can reload my TMP. If I didn't fail the first the first two grenades man, he should be dead by now. Now he should be dead.
All right, so that's a fight, man. Sorry if that was a bit sloppy. Honestly, that was very sloppy. Normally, I should uh, I shouldn't be taking any damage. <laughs> I shouldn't like kill kill him heal him way faster. But uh, like I, like I said, I choke a bit right there. I always choke in video games for some reason. It's been a while since I played Resident Evil 4 for the last time. I mean, I have a lot of experience because I beat the game so many times in the past. But I can be rusty for the boss fights, especially if I'm not using the RPG. But yeah, that's the way you, how you do it. Just try to save as many grenades as you can through the game before you get to this point. Uh, you should you should be able to have like five or six grenades. Just throw two grenades are needed to expose his parasite, his parasite. Just just slash him three times with that thing, and you should be good. Pretty easy, honestly. But I made it harder just so you know. It doesn't look too easy. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's part of the fun when it gets complicated. We're getting back to the church. Should be a snake here? Nah. It's only on the day daytime where the, where the snake spawns are. So right here guys. I don't know if you can see. If you can see what I aiming right now. There, it's one, it's one wolf or one dog. The thing about these dogs, they have the, pla the parasite inside of them, so they can mutate. And if they mutate, they're more dangerous, they're harder to kill. So you, you guys should know already what's up. So the, be the, the best thing you can do here is just, is just avoid these guys. Just dodge them, don't worry. They shouldn't be able to hit you once. You see? Oh no! <laughs> oh bro! I'm choking so bad. I don't know what's going on. Alright. You should be able to <laughs> dodge those guys. Oh my gosh. There's a run hole. Maybe something fits in hits here. I don't know what am I doing, brother. It's not my day to play video games. He is around insignia. Well, now we can open the door. Normally you should be able to dodge them all without taking any damage, bro. But I don't know what is going on with me today. Don't laugh at me, bros. This is not a, this is not an expert gameplay, okay? It's not a speed run. It's not a no damage speed gameplay, you know? <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh, I'm just embarrassing myself here, telling you guys to do something and then I'm fa failing to do it. No, but for real though, every time I do, I do that part, I don't get I don't I don't get any damage. I don't know what just happened there, man. Anyway, it's fine though. As long as we don't die, we're good. But yeah, I actually I, I could have dodged the the second dog, but the first dog I didn't I didn't really I don't really, I don't know something happened there. He kind of got on my way, which delayed me a bit. But but usually you should be able to get past all those dogs, all those wolves, without any problem at all. But yeah, that was a fail. Leave a hashtag epic fail in the comments just for that because holy crap. All right, let me let me just sort this thing. I have a mess here. I've been wasting all my mess because I'm so bad at this game. So sorry about that, brother. Brothers and sisters. Okay. Let me get this thing. Let me get this thing here. Um, I put the gold the eggs up here that should do it that should do it all right we gotta operate this i just don't want to say anymore what are you supposed to do because i always fail to do what color light would you operate the red one turn two times the green we gotta turn this three three times blue one uh that should do it now you combine all these things and as you can see it makes the uh, illuminado symbol this unlocks these gates. And uh, well, let's see what, what's inside those doors. Shall we? Uh, okay. Here we go. Ashley. Don't come! Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. 
And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Alright, so we got a new play in Manual 3. So let's just read this thing. I already know what to do, but anyway. Control configuration changes are not reflected here. Please bear care pay careful attention to button functions. One, number one, comments. Leon can pre-see in the keyboard to make Ashley either wait or follow. Two, Ashley and the action button depending on the situation. Leon and Ashley can cooperate to get past various obstacles. Obstacles, how do you even say that? Three, Ashley's held. You can use, you can use recovery IT items not only on Leon, but on Ashley as well. Four, Ashley and game over. Leon has failed his mission if Ashley is either killed or carried away by the enemy. Mark indicates that Ashley is being carried away. Alright, so those are some like mini tutorial wait. instructions for Ashley. I'm just gonna ask her to wait on so I can get the stuff in this room. Okay. I just feel like restarting this 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 video honestly after all my epic fails. But it's it's only so you guys know this is all genuine, all legit gameplay. I'm not trying to like practice beforehand, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's jump down here, catch her. You don't need necessarily have to do this to trigger the last part of the of the chapter. Or I mean of this part of the chapter. But you will just do it to keep it to keep the realism in this game, even though anyway. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know. My name is Osman Sadler. The master of this fine, religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No! Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. <laughs> I'll have total control over your mind. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Thank you so much for watching my guys, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe if you're new around, thumbs up and share all this content because that helps a lot, you have no idea, and I will see you guys very mother freaking soon.